lovelies, it's Imogen aka Miss Emily Insane and welcome to my video. So I have been a month in my bullet journal. Okay, couple of things. First, if you can hear my fire alarm beeping in the background, yes it's annoying but I've lived with it for over three years. So if that's going to annoy you, perhaps leave. <laughs> I want to fix it but I can't because it's literally a fire hazard. So that is that. Uh, second of all, if bugs or um, maggots or butterflies or bees um, I have that theme this month if that's gonna gross you out then you also might not want to watch and if you're offended by gothy witchy type things then you also might not want to watch subscribe so if there's anybody still here I will get on with this video so Apologies for the nails and basically I, if you followed me on Instagram or if you've seen me, you may have seen me on uh, Bullet Journal Amino, I like to post my stuff there too in those places and I will put links to all of that in the information below and also on screen. So I altered my cover using a die cut. This stamp which I fussy cut out after colouring in and this is also part of the stamp. I use my brother label maker to put my name on here. On the back I created this little if lost please call and then my name and then my number and I covered the whole thing in sticky back plastic. I like to stick my pen that I love in just in the top here and I don't quite understand why people buy pen loops when this is perfectly acceptable and works really well for me. So let's get on with it. You may notice some extra uh, ribbons, <laughs> some extra ribbons down here. Basically I took the book and I opened it to a more or less central area and as you can see there's sort of like this gap down the spine and I glued three additional ribbons onto the inside here. So it came with the black and also this black and grey. And then I added a silver ribbon, a black and white ribbon, and also this white ribbon. And cut to size. My book is getting to be a little bit chunky already, but I like it. So when we open it up and yep, there's my number. So I stamped this image which came from the Spooky Box Club library box stamp printed out some quotes and I just sort of collaged to get a, something a bit more me to look at and it's like bats all over the place and it makes me happy and the quotes which I'm assuming you can see so I don't need to read out. I left this blank and we moved on to the index which if you've seen my previous video um, I covered this up because I didn't like that it had it in different languages so I covered it up with some washi, I created this um, skull sticker using a stamp from AliExpress and again I use my brother label maker to create this index sticker over the top. I don't know how well you can see it in person, you can see it a lot better. I think maybe if I do that you can see it. And my index is a bit all over the place and a little bit messy and a little bit smudged but I don't really care. So I know what it means and I can use it and I can find it and it works for me. These two pages I also covered up this with this larger washi and put the two index stickers at the top. And then the only thing I have is pen testing on this page. But soon enough, I'm going to be breaking onto this second index page. So, moving on. I have a key, which I stamped this using an AliExpress stamp. And cut it out on sticker paper. Stuck it in my book. And then this is my key this far. I don't particularly use it. I kind of know what things mean. Uh, but I do like having this page simply for the key, which is like a skeleton key, and I quite like. Um, the next we have my medical weirdo page. So I have this emergency contact, and then I have my emergency contacts and my doctor's information and stuff, uh, which is just easy for me to have them there if anyone finds this book and needs to get a hold of them, because I do have a lock on my phone. Um, that information is there, and I try and take my book with me when I go out. I have blurred it out for obvious reasons, or I will have blurred it out for obvious reasons. On this side I have this stamp, uh, again another AliExpress, and it, it actually has this word medical weirdo, which I loved. I do have an ongoing list of problems, 
and that's probably not even half of them since I am now being tested for a few other things. <sighs> so, and then I have a list of the medications that I'm currently on and I should be starting injections soon. And once that happens, I will add it to my list, which that is epidermal spinal injections for pain relief. I printed out the um, Halal Rod's Level 10 Life from his book Miracle Morning, which I re-read slash audiobook listened to this month. Um, but I first read it either last year or it might have been the year before now, I'm not quite entirely sure. So I basically wrote this out for myself last year and I printed it out and I have added a few little bits to it. And then this is kind of where I feel like I'm at, although to be honest I might want to update it a little bit because I have actually, since starting my bullet journal, I have been so productive and I've got so much done and I stopped the procrastinating and I've started with audiobooks and I've now got through four audiobooks and I've never been an audiobook person <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just doing so well with myself and so overly proud. So I created an anxiety tracker, a depression tracker, and then I also have pain and fatigue, toiletry and period habits, which you don't need to see. And then I also have this exercise log and stuff. So my point of my exercises at the moment is just to try and get back active or try and get some kind of activity to improve the movement because I have literally been in bed for the last like seven years. So <laughs> I'm working on it and I'm doing a lot better. Actually, I'm doing a hell of a lot better, I won't lie to you. I have really pushed myself and it has caused me to have so much more pain and so much more fatigue, but it's, it's felt good because I feel like I've actually done something. Um, I feel like I'm achieving, so that's where we are with that. Social media numbers. Um, my YouTube didn't go up as much as I thought it would have. And my Instagram was a little kind of disappointing in some areas. And in my Twitter went down. So that's really kind of disappointing. But yeah, so I'll leave all my social media info in the thing below. And then this page. I have the Sabbats for UK time zone. I'm always forgetting the zodiac dates, so I created a thing for the zodiac dates. Then I also created new moon and then uh, waxing, full and waning moon phases and the dates for the UK. I created this on this side, which is a taping of this art piece that I made. I did mess it up a little bit here, but shh. Um, and basically I just created the moon phases and then I wrote on the back sort of like some of the witchy properties which I kind of already know. I've been practicing this for long enough, I should know this stuff by now. Um, but I felt like I wanted to add it because I could. This I was going to add a year at a glance <laughs> and I just apparently don't know how to count. So it totally ended up being a real big mess. I just tip X and over the whole thing and I just printed this out and stuck it on and I found some Google. I'd love to credit it, but I honestly don't know where I got it from. I just typed in 2018 calendar. It popped up and I printed it out in black and white, but I really believe it was originally purple. Um, and then I have my year at a glance, which I have January through to June, and then July through to December. And then this bottom section here I'm using for birthdays. Then I have my, this is what I've done every hour of every day for the last month. So if it's blue, I was asleep. If it's red, I was in bed because I needed to be. If it's pink, I was in bed because I wanted to be. If it's green, I was up, which means I was either sat in my chair or I was on the sofa or I was in my craft room or I was literally up doing something, um, but not in bed. And if it's yellow, then I was out. So you can see how many times I've been out. Uh, this I went to physio. Here I went shopping. I went to the doctors, I went to the family planning, no I didn't, I went and had my polystatic ovary scan, I went to family planning to have my implant out, and then yesterday I went to the dentist. So it's all more or less medical apart from this hour where I went and got cat litter and cat stuff because my cats needed it. Uh, I love this layout, this is, for me, this works so well, I love that I tracked this. I might split it up and start tracking my half an hour instead of my hours and that just means putting two colours on a square instead of one colour for morning and afternoon but I typically sleep most of my morning as you can see 
um, my sleeping pattern typically is from somewhere around 4 a.m. to somewhere around about 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Um, but this is actually really good for me. Actually, I had some kind of sleeping pattern this month, um, which is crazy and really good. And I'm quite excited that I've managed to do this. And I also love this layout that I created with the calendar and there's some notes at the bottom. And I completed all of my tasks and stuff that I wanted to do. This was my first attempt at a weekly layout and to be honest I just stuck with this because it worked. So I created a Monday through Sunday being that Monday through fi Friday have five boxes and Saturday and Sunday have six boxes. I started tracking my water which I am terrible at tracking, terrible at drinking, terrible consuming water. Is Water is not my thing. But I downloaded the app Plant Nanny and you guys, not only am I drinking enough water, but I am drinking more water than I should be. It is crazy. I'm enjoying it. I did speak about this in my last video, so I will probably put that here. But I downloaded this app called Plant Nanny, and the concept of it being that when you drink, you also water your plant the same amount. And not only does it track how much you've drank, if you don't, your plant dies. Yeah. And this, like, this is, I think, about 10, maybe 15 different plants at the moment. And there's different plant pots that you can have. And once your plant is fully grown, you can move it to the nursery and then grow another one. But the plants that are in the nursery will give you a seed every day. And you can use the seeds to buy plants, to buy scenery, to buy plant pots, and other things for the app slash game. Just to save me having to repeat and redo that entire section. And so, as you can tell, the plant nanny things work out really well. Um, I didn't start it this week, I think it was the week after. Over here, I created like a to-do list and, and just a no spend a journal. I liked doing the journal at the end of the week. And uh, then I created a shopping list and I just kind of tried to fill it up. This week, I'm um, sorry, I forgot to mention that I did books or I was going to do a book theme. This week, it ended up as being spiders and a spidery theme and I did this and this worked for me. This is where I started doing my um, water drinking with the plant nanny and I stuck this down and then I was pretty much at a loss. I did create a to-do list here but I ended up actually recreating it in a much larger over here and more detail. So I just stuck this picture of me over the top which is the picture I uploaded for Fibromyalgia Awareness Day, which I have Fibromyalgia and I also want it to raise awareness for it. So I will put some stuff on screen and that's Fibromyalgia. It's horrible and that's life. So, <laughs> moving to the next bit. This was kind of like a journal. I decided on this week with the spiders that I wanted to actually try doing a gratitude log or something they're similar of. So this was kind of how that turned out and I didn't do dates, I did numbers and over here I did, I actually finished setting up my craft room which I am so proud of myself for doing because I've literally spent a year struggling to try and do it and being so deterred by all this stuff that I just had nowhere for but didn't want to throw away and it wasn't worth selling and I didn't want to give it away because then if I wanted it I'd have to buy it again so, but I managed to make my craft room work and it's completely away and it's completely done and apparently I didn't even tick off all of these little boxes to say it's all done but it is and then I took some pictures uh, and I pitched a collage it using photo grid and then I printed it out using my Canon selfie and I also printed this image and also that's what I printed this image black and white image of me which is a thermal printer and it is a really good high quality they will last for apparently a hundred years plus pictures and stuff but I really also want to get me a paper ring and they don't last and they're not that not that great but they are really cheap and the paper for them is even cheaper and they print in black and white which is kind of I kind of want that and I will stick it into my planner and then photograph it and then I will have it on a digital so I kind of want that <laughs> like these they come with sticker paper and you can get the rolls of sticker paper from um eBay from China for like 
one pound twenty five. I think they were for the, like the big rolls. And I was like, I want that. So I made that my if I manage to do my productivity for this entire month, that is what I get at the end. But I will speak about that in a minute. So I kind of journaled a little bit about that because I was so proud of myself. This is where I finished reading Miracle Morning. So I included the savers information. And I also printed out this by Alexis, who has Miss Trenchcoat, so Alexis, aka Miss Trenchcoat, on YouTube, or you can visit her at thecharmshop.com. And she did a spring cleaning list, which was free to purchase. And I like to look at her cleaning lists. I added this sticker at the top because those glasses just remind me of her. And then around the outside of here, I used a Marco neon yellow pencil, just to sort of like highlight that. And then I used one of my emoji stickers down here okay the butterfly week as you can see I managed to drink all of my water when I got to Saturday I actually water overdosed I was extremely unwell to say the least you don't want the details but projectile bile from everywhere to the point where my brain just stopped working and I collapsed on the floor so apparently we don't drink that much water that quickly I drank, I think, like two and a half pints in the space of like a minute because I woke up and I was just so dehydrated and so thirsty. I just downed all this water and it was like I'd slept for a ridiculous amount of hours and I made myself extremely unwell. So I reviewed how much water I'm actually supposed to be drinking and the eight was way too much. So I downed it to six, which is actually what I should be drinking for my weight. And this is bottles, not glasses. Um, if it was glasses, I would have to be drinking, I think, nine glasses, I think it was. Or well, nine pint glasses. Um, so, yeah. So then I started sort of using this layout more. And I started doing steps exercises. So I started tracking that. I, again, with the to-dos, the journal, what have you. I did enjoy the gratitude tracker. So I did that over here. I also did a habit tracker, which went basically from this week through to the end of May and then I also have a brain dump here which apparently I've got losing weight twice so I added that it's uh, an improved mobility it's important clearly to me and that's kind of where I'm focusing on a lot lately just being trying to be more active and generally the summer months make me want to be more active uh so yeah so the next week was bees and as you can see, I drank all of my water and I did near enough all of my planned activities, but my no spend really took a hit this week. I'm really not doing very well on that. And as you can see, there was a number of outstanding tasks that just didn't get done and were therefore delegated through to the next week. I actually lost the ability to count over here and I did four instead of five boxes and then I ended up with an extra day so I removed this extra day because I draw all of my grids and boxes using um, a friction pen so I was able to remove this last box and then I added this word it says may I drew this picture of a bee so it says maybe it's time to save the bees which I thought was a clever pun in pictures kind of a thing so, and then I used some Puppets and Fluffs stickers and her shop's closed down, but I used to be a rep for her. And then we go on to the maggots, which you're probably not going to appreciate, but I am really pleased with my drawing. Um, so yeah, I did too many boxes here and not enough for the gratitude over here. So I ended up adding a Sunday gratitude. I was supposed to be away this weekend, but I ended up falling and hurting myself and then I broke my tooth and just oh so much happened that last week so I ended up not going away but this was going to be a whole journal about my weekend and I ended up covering up my weekend journal with this June prep uh, it's just a black piece of washi and then I wrote with my white Signo gel pen and then I just wrote down some of the things that I wanted to do to track or to do or create layouts for June and then I finished off the week in May, so this is May, uh, it should be the 28th, not 31st because I'm an idiot, so May 28th to June, so we had Monday where I didn't do anything, 
Um, Tuesday, which I had a lot on Tuesday, including um, booking hospital transport and various other things. And then yeah, uh, Wednesday, I had dentist and a few other things. And then today, my plan was pretty much to rest and watch catch-up TV. But I ended up working more on my project back room and also altering these shelves for my mum. <sighs> and I didn't get my kitchen done. I started my kitchen, but I didn't get it done. This box down here became a miscellaneous box. And this, I freehand drew some maggots, which I'm just so pleased with them. Although I did bugger it up a bit here, so I had to kind of alter my drawing. Because I'm very well aware that you don't put the hook through that part of the maggot. <laughs> In fact, I showed my brother this drawing and he was like, Well, clearly you learnt nothing when I took the cue fishing. And I was like, no, I did. I just buggered up my drawing. I'm sorry. So... Yeah, my brother doesn't take me fishing because I lose his best best and brand new floats in trees. I'm also not very good with water. So, June. Hey, June. I stamped a whole bunch of images using um, Jet Black Stays on Ink, uh, white, acid-free, label sticky paper, and AliExpress stamp sets, which I don't care if they're cheap and I don't care if they're knockoffs. And I should care as an artist, I really should care, but I don't, is the long and short of it. So I recreated this because it worked for me before, I recreated this because it worked for me before, I added in some of these stickery things which are coloured with my Tombows, and I like it. I again used some of those images that I coloured with Tombows, and I did the rest of the week, so that's today, tomorrow and Sunday. And then this is sort of like the rest of the week. So this week I've been doing a tracker over here. I've been doing a gratitude, which apparently I forgot to fill out yesterday. I will have to think about what I want to do for my gratitude for yesterday. Let's do it. Let's put chalkboard. Oh, I can't spell. Paint. Yeah, that'll do. So then we move on to the original creator was the Boosted Journal, uh, who is on YouTube as the Boosted Journal and also on Instagram as the Boosted Journal. Um, he also has this as a hashtag, which is Bujo Boosted Challenge. And basically the concept of this, and I won't go into it too much, is basically that you set yourself some goals. And I added a few more goals because I think my goals that I originally set was a little bit unrealistic. Um, or things that were going to happen once a week. So I added it up and if even if I did it every single day and did everything, I would literally be here. So I was like, okay, let's add three more things to our to-do. I'm really pleased because I literally just finished reading um, Eat That Frog. I literally just finished it for the second time. So I got to colour in my first square for my first day on my first square and I'm so pleased with myself. So... The idea being that you follow the outer side thing and whenever you complete one of these tasks that you set yourself, you colour in one of these boxes until you get to here, then you move on to number two, which is the second level, and you write that you start when you started level one, when you completed level one, and you set yourself a reward. So when I've gone all the way around once, I get to buy myself a set of Pigma Microns, which I don't need, but I want. And so I decided that that would be a good reward because I couldn't justify just buying them for no reason. But being a reward for something to look forward to if I do all of these things to create a full level one. Once I hit level two and we go for the inside next inside set of squares where we get the moth stamps and so on. The second moth stamps, so on. Pajamas, so on. The pagan stamps that I want and so on until we get to the middle square which literally once you finish five the next one is six, so you only have like five, one, two, three, six. Um, and then I get to buy it, my paper rang <laughs> printer that I really want. And I did put in the end date, but in the, the end of the month, because that's when my goal is. And then I was like, no, because that's not necessarily when I'm going to finish level six. It might, I might finish it on the 20th of June, um, not the 31st. So that's, <laughs> that's being really <laughs> modest. So assuming that I managed to complete this challenge, and I have really good high hopes for myself. Um, we're going to push myself to do things and this could be absolutely anything that you want it to be. So I added uh, his information there, I added this little light bulb thing because I liked it and I coloured it in using a mixture of Tombows and Zebra, zebra 
uh, mild liners which by the way whenever you see this colors and also in my trackers these colors they are all um, zebra mild liners and this stuff I did with um, my Zig Clean Color brush pens because I forgot to mention that before so I have planned to actually print out my rewards so if I only get my set of Pigma Microns then I will print out a picture and I will put it here but if I manage to get all of these things I will print out pictures using my paper ring which is my goal I really want it you guys so and if I get it I'm going to do a review because there seems to be no English people doing reviews um, watch somebody go out and beat me to it now <laughs> okay so I decided I wanted to try and take part in a doodle challenge so I'm part of the bullet journal amino so they actually set out a bullet journal doodle challenge for June and so I decided to print that out write it out draw the boxes I'm also doing my own witchy challenge over on my other Instagram account I have three I have one for my planner stuff one for my main witchy gothy stuff and I have one for my arts and crafts stuff I'll put all that on the screen and I will also put in the information below and I buggered up in a couple of the spellings and I buggered up in a couple of um, things that I wrote and it seems people like to tell you when you've messed up so thanks for those people who gave me unnecessary anxiety thanks um, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it there because hey it wouldn't be me without a fail and then I just wrote hello July because there's this extra space down here okay so then we got into my exercise plan so this is my working theory but it doesn't mean I'm gonna stick to it at the moment I am kind of doing something like this but not doing the morning stuff just doing the evening stuff but I want to try and start doing mornings and or at least build myself up so at the end of the month that I'm doing exercise twice a day not just once a day but at the moment I'm so pleased with myself that I've managed to do it for like two and a half weeks and I managed to do it every single day for like two and a half weeks which is a huge achievement from maybe once a week once a month in fact I logged on to my Wii Fit to weigh myself and it was like oh look it's Imogen you haven't been here for 900 days I was like wow <laughs> yeah make me feel guilt trip much thanks so I created this and the idea being that I wanted to track what my exercise is what I did when I did it all that kind of stuff every single day so I know what I did and how long I did it for so if I only did steps for 10 minutes I can write that but if I did steps for 10 minutes and then I took a break and then did steps for another 10 minutes that means I did 20 minutes of steps that day so I can write that down I did create this little key and notes section and I did create this tape in which I just sort of bent but I printed out these images from Google I literally just typed in something like weight loss inspirational quotes something like that and then I collaged them all together and I printed them out and then on the back I took some pictures of me in my underwear <laughs> to kind of like um I'm 16 and a half stone I am disabled, I have fibromyalgia, I have joint conditions, I have a lot of problems. I do typically walk with one to two crutches and I can't walk very far without really bad pain and or fatigue. So it's a challenge for me. And because of that, over the last eight years or so, I've put on what I feel is quite a considerable amount of weight. Um, or at least gene sizes. <laughs> Maybe not so much the weight as the gene sizes. And so I've taken pictures of myself from front on both sides and then from the back so that you can kind of, so not you, you don't want to see that at all. So that I can see that and be kind of like, Ugh, that's what I look like without clothes. Yeah, let's, let's fix this. Let's do something about this. And don't get me wrong because the whole BBW thing, I'm into it. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's probably too much information for you guys, but <laughs> I'm at the point now where my pain and fatigue has taken over and I'm curious if a lot of that is weight. The amount of weight that I'm putting on my legs and my legs are causing me problems. So is it all this weight? And I have got like 38 double G breasts, which are really heavy. So my top half is quite a bit heavier than like obviously belly and such forth. 
but I, oh, sorry, throwing my pen. I digress. My point is that I'm wanting to shame myself into trying to lose weight or shame myself into remembering why I'm doing this. And my point is that I want to increase my mobility, if nothing else. At the very least, I have nothing to lose except for weight, and that is not an issue if I lose weight. So that's kind of where I am with that. And forgive me for not showing you me in my underwear. I don't think you'd want to see. And then next week, pretty much the same layout. Basically, I have an adopt appointment, I have a physio appointment, I am tracking some habits, I have some salus, and I have a gratitude and a journal and some note sections. So, and this globe image, and that is it. So, once that is over, in the back, I stuck this washi sample that a friend of mine gave me onto the pocket. So it just highlights this top pocket and being Jack Skeleton it goes with the Sally theme on the front and in the pocket I have a number of random stickers including the rest of those AliExpress stickers that I made. So some random stickers, some stickers from Etsy shops, so those stickers that I printed and made, I don't even know where I got that from and then I also have this mindfulness thing that is a three minute breathing exercise that my pain psychologist gave me and I didn't want to permanently fix this in this book in case I wanted to use it in my next book so I kept it in the back of here and I know where it is then I have a pen test oh no look at that so these zebra mild liners I actually color coded I have all four sets and I, I put a little piece of washi on the packet. So this is the pink packet, the yellow packet, blue packet, and the peach packet. And then I also put it on the pen itself. So I knew which pen it comes from. I actually don't keep the pens in the packets anymore. But if I want to put them back in the packets because I kept them, I know which one goes in where. And then this is the start of my Tombow collection, which I was just going to get the sort of like the black and white grey monochrome type ones. But I this week picked up three of the fleshy coloured ones so I got light sand flesh and tan which I think were really good choices and I also picked up the pastel set which hasn't arrived yet but it's the 12 pack of pastels I even mean, one of them is an, another blending pen but that's fine so there's my tombos and then I don't have anything on these pages but because they're the perforated pages that can be torn out I made this my dedicated pen test so anything that's a pen test will go in this section here and then I wrote out all 730 Disney movies from the D3 list so I'm working my way a good way through these movies and it took me some 20 odd hours to write them all down I was gonna stick it like I did print them out and I was gonna stick them in but it would have made my book so chunky so I decided to write them all out instead which I kind of regret and there's a whole bunch of Disney movies that I loved like The Lion King 2 and Little Mermaid 2 and like additional like there's the original you know Lilo and Stitch and then there's some movies that like how to Train Your Dragon. Now I know that's DreamWorks, but there's a lot of DreamWorks movies in here and I thought that was Disney. So there's some movies that I thought were Disney and apparently weren't, but I feel like they should have been included on this list. And then there's a lot of movies that were Disney and for whatever reason aren't on the list. And yeah, so what I think I'm going to do, because I have all of this, all of this and all of this, is that I'm going to work out what movies were not wrote down and then write them down in an additional list. So there's 730 up to May 2018. And I've worked on a good amount of them. So this was kind of my little why I wanted to do this. And that I've always been a huge fan of Disney and the animated movies. And I've been considering watching all of the Disney films for some time. And so I decided to re-watch them or watch them if I haven't seen them. So I started this challenge on the 15th of 5th 2018 and I do not plan to watch them all this year because even I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, and I had this gothy looking Snow White sticker so I stuck her in and then I traced this and I coloured it in with my Tombow and let me say I'm no good at tracing. I also created this audiobooks layout 
So these are all the audiobooks that I have at the moment and I've listened to the first four of them and I'm going to start the next one tomorrow, well later today slash tomorrow. So I gave myself two pages for audiobooks and I created this little play looking thing down at the bottom because I just felt that the, the page kind of looked, it looked blank and I didn't want it to be like another list because I got the Disney movies for that. Then I created this tarot spread so every Sunday I pull and draw a tarot card and I kind of wanted to write them down. So I had this idea of colour coding all of my decks that I currently own so that I could just put the colour in here and then write what the card was rather than having to keep writing out the deck every time. So this is working really well thus far. I've only used my Madame Endora's, Endura, Endora's fortune cards and thus far... I put in some washi, this is washi, and then I had these cards which are like, I don't know if they're journaling cards, I'm not quite sure what they are, but basically I inked up the edges with some uh, wilted violet distress ink and rounded the corners as well, and I cut this card, I think I forgot to mention that before, but I cut this card um, so it sits next to this card because they are quite thick, and when I do bend the, pa the page, like you can see, but... I don't plan to bend that page all that much. So that is literally my month in my bullet journal. So that's where I am. And my productivity, as I said, has increased so much. I am doing so much more, doing so be so much better. I am on top of my habits. I am on top of my activities. I am not procrastinating. I'm not putting things off. I did, I do contribute or tribute, sorry, I do tribute a lot of that to Hal Elrod's Miracle Morning and also David Allen's Getting Things Done. Um, those two books have been really inspirational, uh, inspirational to me and also the Bullet Journal community and all those amazing people out there. There are some really, really amazing and talented people and some people who are very, very young in the community and I love to see that the young people are trying. My sister has just given me, sorry, my 13 year old sister has just given me money to buy her an emerald Leutrum. Leutrum. Yep, I'm going to murder that name again. Um, 1917 to get her bullet journaling as well. As you can see, it's, it's quite. <laughs> but I like it and I like how chunk it's going to get. Um, so yeah, so she's going to start bullet journaling. I'm enjoying watching people on YouTube and on Instagram and in the community in general. Also on Amina, obviously, as well. And then there's some face fantastic Facebook groups. And just the ideas are so overwhelming. And even when the theme is like... I've seen so many people this month do watermelon. So many people do uh, citrus fruits. I've seen so many people do cacti. Or bees, I've seen so many people do the same layout, yet it doesn't look the same. Like, everybody's planner, journal, bullet journal thing looks different. And it's some of the talent and some of the amazing ideas. And yeah, so I have become a big kind of bullet journal junkie, do this advocate. So excited and really pleased with myself. And yeah, so... I don't think this is going to last me a whole year. <laughs> I think it's going to be kind of one of them six month things. Um, but that's okay. Uh, if it only lasts me six months and I have to have two a year, that will save me from getting bored of the same cover. Pretty much. Just a, a quick little note at the end to say I'm sorry that some of this video is slightly off of camera. The desk tripod stand thing that I have is fantastic. But the Samsung Galaxy S7, it zooms right in when you're trying to record video and there's nothing you can do about that. Like, it just auto does the zoom in thing, so it's really hard to get everything in shot, especially with the height of my desk stand tripod thing. So I am going to start saving up to get a camera. I've added it to my wish list, and nobody's going to buy me the camera, but... My wish list is below if you want to see some of the other items that I'm wishing for and maybe give you some ideas of things that you might want to buy for your own videos and your bullet journal and stuff. And I hope you enjoyed it and any questions 
please ask. Again, I am sorry about the fire alarm. I really am. Um, the situation with that is the previous tenants decided to wire the... Um, it, it's basically wired to my house. And they decided to wire it up in the attic so that they could grow cannabis. And the fire brigade came out and basically condemned the fire system saying that it's dangerous and that it needs removing and my landlord he's not the best geezer in the world at all um and he basically just bought like regular bat battery operated ones and stuck them up and then we were just told not to use the mains one so that beeping like that you can hear i can hear four of them from wherever i am in my house and they go off every 32 seconds and I have lived here for four years, and well, three to four years, and you can see how much I've been out. So you can imagine, <laughs> I've kind of got used to them now. Um, but I appreciate that other people are, and I am looking into trying to get it fixed or trying to figure out what I can do to remove that issue. I have tried recording in different rooms, and it's just as bad everywhere else. And sadly, the one that you can hear is directly outside my craft room. So even though my craft room door is shut, you can probably hear it. And I can't apologise enough, but I understand that it's annoying. I'm also battling the issue of neighbours renovating. And the people to the left of me have just stopped their three-year three -year, uh, running. Ex like, oh, I don't know. Like, literally, the people that lived there renovated it out for two years and they did a really dodgy job. So then these people moved in and they've been renovating it for over a year. And it's finally done. And now the people to the right of me have bought their property, which is much bigger, and they're renovating that. So I'm recording this video at, like, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, just because I didn't want you to have to combat with renovation noise as well as the annoying fire alarm. So... <laughs> That being said, and without further ado, I'm going to apologise. Hopefully this lighting wasn't too terrible. I, um, yeah, I could have fixed this. But I, I didn't think of this beforehand, I'm sorry. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed, and I love you and leave you. Definitely check out my Instagrams, and if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, comment and tell me why, and if it's about the fire alarm, then, ah, honestly. <sighs> Thanks for watching.